Hi, this is Previn with Pipedream. In the next five minutes, I'll show you how to build powerful integrations using Pipedream really quickly. For today's demo, I'll build a workflow that uses pre-built open source components for Twitter and Google Sheets. I'll also add a Node.js code step that uses an NPM package and that demonstrates how to use Pipedream's integrated authentication for the Google Translate API directly in code. I'll also use a Python code step with a PyPy package to analyze the sentiment of each tweet that's processed by the workflow. So let's get started. The first thing that I need to do is to create a trigger. Pipedream makes it easy to trigger workflows on HTTP requests, schedules, app events, and more. For today's demo, I'm gonna trigger a workflow every time the Star Wars hashtag is mentioned on Twitter. All I need to do is select a trigger, connect my account, and then enter the keyword that I want to search for. I can also customize other settings like the polling interval and the trigger name. Since I selected a trigger that polls for new events on a schedule, Pipedream will automatically check for new events. All I need to do is select an event to help me build from the event selector. The event you select is important because it will be used to provide autocomplete suggestions as you build, and it will also provide the input data that's used when testing your workflow. Next, I'll use a pre-built action to send data to Google Sheets. I just need to connect my account and complete the basic configuration. Since my sheet has headers in the first row, the action will automatically generate a form to make it easy to enter that data. For the first column, I'll use data from the trigger context to pass the timestamp when the event is processed by Pipedream. Next, I'll search the Object Explorer to find the screen name of the user who wrote the tweet. Finally, I'll add double braces to use autocomplete to pass a reference to the full text key from the trigger event. Then I can simply click test. It's clear that the test was successful and I can validate that the data was inserted in Google Sheets. Next, let's add a step to translate the tweet. To do that, I'll add a step to my workflow and I'll search for the Google Translate app. Now, at the time of this demo, there are no pre-built actions for Google Translate, but Pipedream makes it easy to use any API for any integrated app directly in code. All you have to do is connect your account and customize the default code provided by Pipedream. This code example also uses an NPM package. To use any NPM package on Pipedream, just import it. There's no package.json or NPM install required. One more really powerful feature that I'll use here is the ability to reference data from previous steps directly in code. For this example, I'll pass the tweet from the trigger event as the data to translate. Next, I'll test my changes. Since the code returns the response from the API, Pipedream generates step exports. Only data that's exported from a step can be passed and used in future steps. Next, I'm gonna pin this result section so that it stays open when I move on to another step. For the next step, I'll run some Python code that uses the NLTK PyPy package to analyze the sentiment of the tweet. First, I'll change the name of the step from Python to sentiment, and then I'll import the steps object so that I can reference data from previous steps. Now, I need to reference the translated tweet in my Python code. Pipedream makes it easy to simply copy and paste the path of previous step results. This is especially useful when working with deeply nested data. Next, I'll test my changes. Pipedream will automatically install the PyPy packages imported by the code and display the results. Next, I'll update the data I'm sending to Google Sheets. First, I'll simply paste in the reference to the translated tweet. Next, I'll update the Google Sheet to add a column to capture the sentiment score that was generated by NLTK. To update the action form, I just need to refresh the fields. Pipedream will automatically detect if columns have been added or removed. Then I'll filter the results in the Object Explorer by the step name, and I'll pass the compound score to Google Sheets. Finally, I'll test the step to validate my changes. Based on the results, I can see that the test was successful and I can again validate that the data was inserted into Google Sheets. Now, before I deploy, I want to run one more test. I wanna make sure this workflow works with other events, 
So I'll select a different one from the event selector, and then I'll test my entire workflow. When it's complete, I see a clear signal that the test was successful, and I can review the results of all the steps. I can also validate that the data was inserted into Google Sheets. All right, now I'm ready to run this workflow on every new tweet. All I need to do is to click Deploy. Now that the workflow is live, I'm almost done. I'll go over to Settings to configure Pipedream's queue controls. These controls make it easy to manage the execution rate and concurrency of your workflow in just a few clicks. For the last step of this demo, let's test this workflow with some live events. Events that trigger your workflow show up in the event list in real time, and we can also see the results in Google Sheets. You can also select events from the event list to inspect the execution. So I hope this demo has helped you imagine how you might build powerful integrations really quickly with code level control when you need it and no code when you don't. To get started, sign up for a free account at pipedream.com. We can't wait to see what you build on Pipedream. Thanks for watching.